people in the in the chat are actually calling me a liar, but um, if you actually go to his show, if you, I, I, I've lost the URL. Someone's changed the topic on my fucking IRC chat. Yeah, uh, but they probably they they can find it. I was unaware, but you know we're we're hearing it from you, Goofy Bone in jail. Uh, do they have any sense on when he's getting out or anything of that nature? Um, hopefully never. I mean, to be perfectly honest, Ghost, I, I actually foresee this actually being the, the last time we'll talk to Goofy Bone because I expect he's probably going to die from massive rectal hemorrhaging after the amount of people that, you know, pummel his anus. Oh, man, in the painter. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, man. Hey, you want to give a shout-out to anybody there, Tezeki? Um, actually, only to you, Ghost. I just want to say, I, I like the new merchandise. Well, not the merchandising. This is something I was going to ask you. I like the new logos, and I like, you know, the kind of, the new graphics you're doing. And I was wondering if you've actually got any merchandising ideas. No, well, you know, actually, those are all user-generated. And I'm just posting the user-generated images uh, because, uh, you know, they, they're inspired by True Capitalist Radio. They're inspired to go out there and, you know, make some of these images. And I want to thank them. Their listeners are listening in right now. Thank you very much for the uh, 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 for the images. Uh, I, I don't know the source. I, I don't know if the source wants me to uh, to say them, but I guess I can. I guess I can give out the uh, the, the Twitter name. Uh, some of the some of the images provided, uh, which are the ones that say uh, "Live in lavish" and uh, you know "Spread it around like wildfire." Uh, RJD two seven nine. Uh, that's the person who uh, uh, who was the uh, contributor of those images. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, you know we're, we're we're just trying to give some love to those that give love to the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, and uh, you know give them some props by posting up uh, some of their artwork. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I think it's really good. I mean, I particularly like the the kind of new take on the the skeleton skull with the cowboy hat but done in all the wonderful words about the capitalism. I mean, have you actually thought about merchandising? I mean, it, uh, ironically, this is the first point I wanted to talk to, about, uh, talk to you about today but, you know, all the other things have come up because, I mean, 15,000 listeners I know you had a week ago or so and it's like, you know, even if you can make just one dollar off like a t-shirt somewhere online, that's 15,000 pounds, well, dollars you know, well, you know, I, I look at it like this. You know, right now, I mean, I still, I mean, you know, since I'm doing this on the Internet, I, I mean, I'm not thinking about that merchandise and stuff right now. Of course, uh, you know, there are people that are using my recordings and, uh, you know, posting it on YouTube and so on and so forth, and that, and that's fine. Uh, what I'm doing is in hopes of just, uh, you know, implementing capitalist ideology throughout the world. Now, if somebody wants to... Uh, Call yours truly, like uh, you know, Sirius Radio, who's got Howard Stern or somebody like uh, any 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 media outlet who actually wants to throw some money into the damn program. I mean, I'm willing to you know sell some rights and uh, you know let's talk some business. But man, I've got so much uh, time invested into uh, stock investing, uh, futures investing. I've got brick mortar businesses on top of which. On top of which, I've got uh, a brick mortar businesses that I'm thinking about investing in. I mean, so uh, you know, it just consumes too much time for me to uh, you know even comprise the uh, the system of merchandising and so on and so forth. But let me tell you, if we had more listeners, if, if we had something in the say in the range of say 50,000 listeners or something of that nature, well, then maybe we'd, we'd talk some serious business. But uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, you've got the mainstream uh, media outlets. They don't even want to touch Ghost because they know that I'm kicking ass, I'm taking names, I'm purely organic. I'm not out here uh, advertising myself. I mean, the whole reason that the people who listen to my broadcast listen to it is purely through organic form. All right? There's no kind of plug. There's no kind of goddamn advertising. I'm not out here pumping money in some stupid advertising uh, agency. They're not shoving ads in your face. And that's the way it is, man. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep that digital spirit alive until uh, somebody sells me out and, you know, offers me a couple of mil. I think that's a pretty good approach. I mean, do you actually defend your, like, trademark logos and stuff? Because, I mean, I've seen all these bingo cards, and I was actually genuinely quite amused. I thought it was a very clever way to engage people in the show. And, I mean, I know they're not official, but it was it was genuinely quite funny. No, look, I mean, uh, I think that it's cool that these guys are getting creative. You know, these guys are getting creative with everything. 
I mean, uh, I have no problem with it, just as long as, uh, you know, it's like a copy left situation. You know, uh, you know, kind of like, a, you know, uh, a situation where, you know, they know who the source of the uh, information or the content is, and as long as they make it more creative, as long as they, you know, uh, put a link back or some kind of, a, you know, peace sign, in, in a sense, on uh, uh, making some kind of uh, general reference within the piece of content. That's fine with me. No, I totally agree. And so, if that's okay, I'd like to give my final shout out to the chap that made the. I, I, I feel bad. I don't know his name, but the guy that made the kind of true capitalist radio song. Um, with it, it's on YouTube, and it's like your logo with a Justin Bieber hat. I mean, yeah, yeah. Know, yeah as a matter that's... of fact, that's Electric Fences Studios. Uh, apparently, uh, it's somebody within, I think, somewhere in Europe that's a music producer. Uh, that uh, didn't have anybody, you know, in any session in the studio and decided to just come together and make up a song for True Capitalist Radio, which is another thing. I think that anybody who hasn't listened to it, uh, just put uh, in a YouTube search, True Capitalist Radio Song or True Capitalist Song, and uh, there's an avatar of the ghost symbol with a Justin Bieber haircut, which is funny. <laughs> well, uh, but I... It's just it's just unbelievable content, and let me tell you, I, I want to inspire more people to create content like that. Keep creating it, man. Keep the creativity flowing. Let it flow, as I'd like to say. Go ahead. I just want to say, you know, if you've got a time for a break tonight and you're looking for a song, I heartily endorse that song. So consider that my request, and I will bow it now, sir. Pleasure to talk All right, to you. No, no problem, to that. Hey, thanks a lot for calling. Uh, once again, folks, Tzeki, avid listener, avid caller, and a member of the Capitalist Army. And, of course, if you're not a member of the Capitalist Army, well, Army, no, what the hell did I just say? The Capitalist Army, excuse me, uh, well, by God, become a member of the Capitalist Army, all right? www.capitalistarmy.com, all right? Yeah, look, they're laughing now. <laughs> Real funny assholes, all right? CapitalistArmy.com, baby, all right? We're looking for a few good men and women that are capitalists and that want to spread the capitalist endeavor throughout the international community. www.CapitalistArmy.com. And, of course, follow me on Twitter, folks, all right? Follow me on Twitter. Ghost Politics is the name to follow. And, of course, do we do we have any uh, shout-outs to say? Anybody tweeting at us there, Engineer? Well, apparently we've got some people tweeting at us, and we're going to go ahead and give some shout-outs to some peeps. we got uh, French Fry 113095. What's going on? Uh, we've got, uh, who else we got? we got the Army Guy. All right. Who, uh, who else we got? Uh, we've got RJD279. What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, we've got Ray Jism. Uh We've got Gasgara. Who else we got going on that's... Uh, tweeting at us. All you got to do, send a tweet at us, all right? We got Lois Haas, XX Lois underscore Haas XX. What's going on? How you doing? All right, uh, who else we got? We got Di, uh, Dicello. Dicello. How you doing, Dicello? We got N Napero 7. I swallow. Ah, oh, it. screw you. Screw you, you stupid sick sons of bitches, for Christ's sake. Just when I think that you idiots are trying to be cool, and, you know, everything's okay, and, and you give me one of these stupid dumb Twitter names, for Christ's sake. Stupid asshole. Screw up. Look at Ha, ha. Very funny. Ha, ha, ha. Stupid asshole. Screw you. Shove it up your ass, all you pieces of crap. Jesus Christ. Who else we have? Who else we got? Jesus Christ. We got ice cakes. What's going on? We got Anton Fontaine. What's going on? Cosmo CB. We got that guy, Rumpel Foreskin. He's a ta tactical X banana. We got uh, Shrapture. What's going on? Uh, we got uh, Darian Cutler. How you doing, man? I'm glad you're enjoying the broadcast. Who else we got going on? Uh, who else? We got Stacy Erect. Uh, we got Flaming Poop Juggler. Uh, we've got, uh, who else? We got Corneria. Uh, who else we got? Man, Jesus Christ. We got the guy, 1337. We got Mr. Bigglesworth, James Anthony in the place. What's going on, man? Who else we have? 
We got Spermy the Cat, for Christ's sake, this son of a bitch. Uh, we got Mattermind99. What's going on? Jesus Christ, we got we got Twitters coming out the wazoo. Rupert Kalu in the place. What's going on, man? Man, we got a lot of that. We, we got Crest. Uh, I'm not saying that. Ah, I'm not. You sick son of a bitch. That's it. I'm not saying anything. Well, that's enough of the show. That's it. It's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's all we need is these sick ass, you know, flaming nipple chop kind of names, for Christ's sake. Anyway. Let's move on to the next subject matter, folks. I'm sorry. We were talking about how Netflix is going to increase their DVD streaming plans by 60%. Now, let's move on to a little bit, keeping on the online theme. We've got Amazon.com urging a California referendum on an online tax. And for you folks that are unfamiliar, with the exception of the folks that are in California, we've got California implementing a state tax on transactions that are online. They're also implementing a state tax on uh, those affiliates that happen to sell Amazon products. Now, what does that mean? Let's say you have yourself a blog. Let's say you have yourself a website. Well, you can actually uh, sign up to Amazon.com as an affiliate and be able to kind of upsell their products via your website. And if they click uh, your little upsell from your website, you could potentially make some capital if they happen to spend money on the product. Well, you've got California, you've got California actually taxing this on the state level, not the federal level, the state level, for Christ's sake. Can you believe this crap? I mean, can you believe this nonsense? I mean, this is supposed to be the eighth largest economy in the world. California, the state of California, all right, is supposed to be the eighth largest economy in the world. All right, and yet they are in more debt than anyone can imagine. All right, they're completely economically insolvent. I mean, they have raised so many taxes. There are so many state taxes within that particular state that they can't raise them anymore. They can't raise them, so they're going into the online tax. All right, I mean, they have to keep funding these stupid, ridiculous California state bureaucracies, and it's stupid. It makes no sense, for Christ's sake, man. Jesus Christ, I wouldn't take a dirty diarrhea shit in California, and that's all there is to it. I'm sorry I said that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, Bleh. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's take some calls here. 646-652-4869. What do you think about this? Area code uh, 201, what's up? What do you think about this crap? Ghost, you know what I think? You know what I think? What? I think milk and liquor. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, stay on the line, sir, because, you know, in my personal opinion, I think it's, I don't know about you, but I think it's that time to play everybody's favorite game, and it's Guess the Minority! <laughs> well, that's right, folks, it's everybody's favorite game, Guess the Minority. I hear a little bit of an ethnic twang here. So it's time to play everybody's favorite game. Put your guesses on the screen right now if you're chatting with us. Put your guesses in if you're not, just think of it in your mind. All right, it's everybody's favorite game. Let's go ahead and go back, shall we? All right, area code 201, what's going on, man? What were you going to say again? I said I'm white. I think you're a milky licker, and you're white. I mean, I, you're white, I'm white. What the fuck? Keep talking. About what? What do you want me to talk about? I'm obviously white. I'm not. Oh making... no, no, I think I don't think you're white. Keep talking. I am white. I I, I can say it without a doubt in my mind that I'm white. Oh yeah. Okay. Just talk about what you did today, so we can gauge some type of twang that you have in your vernacular. Go ahead. Okay. Today I woke up and I went to work. Problem. I, I I'm thinking uh I'm thinking Oriental. Are you Oriental? No. You're lying. I heard that. I woke up and I went to walk today. I heard that. I swear to God. Did anybody else hear that? Did anybody? I heard that. I'm sorry. I heard that. I went up and went to walk today. All right. Now look. I'm going to ask you to say something, and I want you to say something very clearly to me, sir. Can you uh, say hello? Not hero. Hello. All right, sir. Not hero. Hello. All right, sir. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. All right, what's your What's your favorite food? 
I like buffalo wings. You like buffalo wings? Yeah. 